Woo! Despite my channel being a family-friendly channel with content suitable for all ages, this Let's Play series of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective has been rated T for Teen due to it featuring mild language and mild violence. So viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Welcome everybody to the true final chapter of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. At this point, no need to recap, you know what's happening. You We're better. on the final chapter, 5.26pm. It's like a yeah. half hour p.m. You're gonna wait and see. Start from this time Oh, frame. right, right. It's from the final past. Final chapter. I was like, that's a typo. And now I remember. When was Yamil's death? It was ten years ago when the yeah. Tenzik meteorite fell. As I thought. We're going ten years back in time, y'all! This has such a satisfying end to a video game. We traveled back through time, and now we're here at the scene of that death. The start of it all is about to replay itself. Four minutes before death, Temzik Park. Oh wow, she's playing with headphones too. Yes, indeed. It's ready! Hold it! Give it up. Do you really think you can outrun me? Now just calm down and drop that weapon! S stay back! If you come any closer, I'll shoot her! Meow! Huh? Oh, a kitten! Shoo! You might get hurt! <laughs> the cat is connected to the meteorite. <laughs> Maybe we have to use the cat to stop it. Probably. We don't have to stop the meteorite. <laughs> Do we? We gotta stop him from dying somehow. But we also kind of needed that meteorite, because he's the one that also helped us do all this stuff. We can rewrite the uh, past. Okay. Because we've done it before. Duh. That hurt. <laughs> Are you okay? You're all right now. Are you hurt? You saved me, mister! I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. So that's the Temzik meteorite, eh? It's beautiful looking at it from this angle. It changed all of our fates completely. We can't stop Temzik from falling from the sky. But we might be able to protect you from that fragment and save your life. But also then, Lynn won't become a detective. So what? That's She's gonna die if we don't. <sighs> but this is still, yeah, it's... And she might not. Rewriting the past is difficult because of all the other things that'll be affected by it. Yep. I don't know. What's the matter, Detective Jowd? To be perfectly honest, I'm scared. If that meteorite fragment doesn't get him, I'm pretty sure I would have shot him. We might not be able to change your fate of dying. I can accept that. What I did is inexcusable. No matter how the future might change, that fact will never go away. If my fate is to die here, then I accept that. This will be our last battle against fate. Beyond that will be a new future. Okay, let's get started! Oh, this is so good. I don't even know what we're supposed to do, because some of this I'm like, I'm afraid to change certain stuff. All we need to do is we need to stop the fr him from dying in front of the fragment, basically. Okay. Now, how are we going to save you? If Lynn would just wander off somewhere, that would solve everything. When her sweet potato is almost ready? Ha! She's not going to budge from that spot. But you know, it makes me wonder, a little girl all alone in the park listening to music and roasting a sweet potato? What kind of childhood did this girl have? Yeah. Doesn't everybody have at least one day in their life like that? Give her a break! Anyway, if Lynn won't budge from that spot, then we'll just have to have the fragment move instead. No. 
headphones. Maybe if we have the sweet roasted potato. sweet potato. Nozzle, nozzle, another nozzle. <laughs> So we can't really do anything to sizzle, sizzle right now. <laughs> sizzle. Yeah, but I'm doing stuff as missile. We might have to let time pass until... It's ready! It's like half a sweet potato. Hold it! Yeah. Trick time! Swap the roasted sweet potato for the gun. <laughs> <laughs> They're not the same shape. Also, the gun doesn't have a core. We can probably move Sissel now to the sweet potato. We can examine it. What in the world is this, Fane? Oh boy, you even forgot what a sweet potato is. It's a roasted root vegetable. It's good. It is really good. There's nothing like them on a cold winter's day. They're sweet and they're no they smell delicious! These guys sure are making me want to try one. I would like to have one myself. I don't really like sweet Turn them up! I'm top of the pain of you! What are you doing? You're gonna hurt poor Miss Lid's ears! I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. You really startled her. You even made her drop her sweet potato. I know how much this girl loves her food, too. Anyway, at least her fate has changed, albeit ever so slightly. The fate changed! <laughs> Maybe we can change the roasted sweet potato with something. It's not really facing in the right direction for anything. <laughs> Rock the boat. Rock the basket. Oh, she's got a basket of sweet potatoes. Yes. Yeah, this is an interesting puzzle as the last uh, death in the game. I'm a fan. Okay. See what you're gonna do? So, end game. What's your end game goal here? For to try to stop the to death. Stop the death, I guess. Yeah. What's your plan for that? I don't know. What are you trying to do right now? I'm trying to swap her headphones. <laughs> Yeah? Those aren't the same shape as anything. Those are a very unique shape. Okay, um, I don't know then. Okay, well, move move up to that light. You had, you had a good idea there. Go back to Sissel. So that thing is floating in the water now. You rocked the basket and a whole sweet potato fell out. Rock it again? It's, our, it's already... There's uh -huh. nothing in the basket anymore. Okay. Follow the sweet potato? Kind of see what we're doing? A little bit? Okay, if there's something really simple that you're not doing. I hit the Think about fire. where stuff is now. Right. Okay. Wait, why didn't that work? Because you waited way too long and the oh. potato drifted past it. That's why. Okay, okay. So you're gonna have to go back. Yeah, I'm already gonna have to go back anyway, after the fate change. Yeah. Albeit ever so slightly. <laughs> when it's in the new future, when it has like terrible hearing because you turned up the headphones. <laughs> Alright, so rock the basket. Now get ready to spray that as it's passing over. Then <laughs> The fountains here are very high pressure. Okay. So now, now I can't get over there. Hmm, that might be a problem. I might have to follow the sweet potato over. Yeah, you might have to. Also, I want him to actually have a different sprite, because it's confusing. <laughs> what do you mean? He's a ghost of glasses. I guess. It is different. That's why he changed away from his, uh, Yamiel sprite. I almost pressed the wrong button! Okay. I know the mouse that we are using is very sensitive. Just so people understand that. I hit. Oh, look at the sweet potato! That big 
big scary sweet potato. That's not a sweet potato missile. That's Mino. Oh, right, of course. But look at them, the potato and Mino. Right now they both have the same shape. So you're saying that we could swap them, huh? Good idea, missile. Okay, here I go, and I'm gonna need your help. My help? Oh, I had the right idea. You might have to move down. Thank goodness missile has long range. Oh, it's okay. Uh, wait for it to come back down then, and then you'll have to jump. Okay, so now spray it. And now you could probably swap it with something else. Oh look! The lamppost is bending! But it hasn't broken yet! It really is a wonder it hasn't snapped. It just might hold out for a little while longer. If I recall, the Temsek fragment smashed through the glass lantern on its way down. But if Mino sits firmly in its way, then fate should change! Trick time! It's about time for that meteorite to come down! Don't worry, Missile. I think we're ready for it. Look what's right in the fragment's path. Oh, okay, that giant sweet potato! If anything can get in the way, that ugly monster can! Ouch. Anyway, now the fragment's path ought to change. You don't need to do anything. Dane it, Mario? <laughs> in your cosmic comets? There! How's that? Look, the fragment's course! It changed a little! Now Yamiel's fate should really change! Wait a minute. Take another look at the fragment's trajectory. Now that it's changed, what's in its path? Probably Lin. In its path? N no! Detective Jowd! The Temzik fragment shot through his leg. What? Uh. Yeah, okay. it literally cut clean through his leg. Right, okay. But the cruel twists of fate weren't over yet. Mm. Come on, put it down. Huh? Jowd, put the gun down! Now! If you don't, you're going to shoot him! I don't know if it's his detective training or what, but even though he's shaking from the pain, the gun doesn't waver. PUT THE GUN DOWN! NO! I knew it. This is my true fate. In the end, I stole his life away with my own hands. I WON'T LET THAT HAPPEN! Missile! The bullet has stopped in midair! I'm here inside the bullet! Now let's swap it with something else! What? With what? Detective Jowd, the meteorite fragment is what made you pull the trigger. We won't let you become a murderer. We have to prove the murder isn't the te detective's true fate. And to do that, we have to stop this bullet. There must be something of the same shape as the bullet around here. Shoot him in the face of a sweet potato. Yeah, this'll go great. <laughs> Did that not work? Well, he just got <laughs> impaled on the statue there. Oh no, we've stopped the bullet, but we still couldn't save him. That's not true. My fate of getting pierced through the back might not have changed, but I'm still alive. What? I'm not dead, I'm just unconscious. Okay, so your fate of death has changed, but still, this fate is just too painful to watch in every sense. I don't think so. As long as I'm alive, that's good enough for me. But we were overlooking one thing. The Wheel of Fate was still slowly turning. This thing's turning. gonna fall on her, isn't it? Yup. Look out! Wake up! You gotta get out of there! Damn it! 
My leg won't work! It's all over! We're out of time! Miss Lynn! It's not over yet. But there isn't anything else to swap with! Why don't we just let it play out, then fi try to find another way next time? Even if she dies, all you have to do is possess her corpse, and then you can redo her last four minutes as many times as it takes. No, I won't do that. Why not? Sure, the fact of her death would be erased, but her memory of it would remain like a scar on her psyche. I won't let that happen, not if I can help it. But what can we do now? Even if we work together? I think there might be something that can be done. What is it? What can Cecil and I do? Don't forget, I'm here too. With three kinds of powers among us, we ought to be able to fight this battle. This battle against the fate of death. Y Yamiyo! Sissel, your power is manipulating objects. Use your power to manipulate this. Huh? I don't get it. Just trust me. Let's go. Alright, I'll try to move there. Now, gather your strength and make it spray as if your life depended on it. Uh, I'm dead, though. In that case, make it spray as if your death depended on it. Give it your all! And remember, you'll only have a split second. Get on that trick button. Okay. Now do it! Got it! Now it's your turn, Missile. What? Uh, me? But what can I do? I think you know the answer to that. Okay, got it! You can swap them. That hunk of concrete will go back to its original position. But, but, if I swap them, it'll still be right above Miss Lynn! Don't worry. Okay, I'll do it. I'll swap them! It's no use! We can't stop the horrible Bino! What can we do now? I don't see how gaining a second or two helped. Oh, it helped all right. Those few seconds were exactly what I wanted. Last up, it's my turn. Your turn? You know what my power is, right? I can manipulate living creatures. Wait a minute, you mean? That's right. I'm going to save that little girl. Save her by manipulating my own unconscious body. Ye gods. I guess that's the right thing to do, was swapping it with the sweet potato. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Ah, you're awake. Hey, mister, is your knee okay? Huh? Oh, it'll be fine. It's just a scrape. Through my entire body! <laughs> I'm lucky it wasn't a fatal hit, but the main thing is that you're not hurt. You... saved me, mister? I was just doing my job. The gods. They're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. Don't look at that guy! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you could go call the police for me? I think you could do it quicker than I could. But... What's that? This is a detective's badge. We give them to children who've been very brave. A detective's badge? Thanks! Okay, you know what to do, little detective. I can't believe she just saw that, too. She was unconscious for most of it. Are you alive? Yeah. Sadly. Hey, Nan. Help is coming. What made you do such a reckless thing? To be perfectly honest, I don't really know. When I came to, my body was already moving all by itself. It was as if somebody else was controlling me. I see. But you know, I'm glad it happened.
after. I found this kitten. It was over there. Come to think of it, I just saw it a few minutes ago. It's probably a stray. It's kind of limp. Is it okay? I don't know. I think it's unconscious. That's funny. It doesn't look like it's injured or anything. Poor little kitty. How about if I take it out to my house and look after it? Would you like to come home with me, little kitten? Well, looks like his fate just changed in a big way. Whose fate? That kitten's, of course. Sissel's. I'm a cat? Sissel? The name Sissel echoes in my head. That's my real name. You're a cat? This is literally... Okay. These long, lonely ten years, you were my one and only friend. How about it? Do you remember now? Wow. Old friend. Wow. We're a cat. I mean, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I think... I think I finally remember. Ten years ago, I was a little kitten that wandered into this park. I was weak and all alone in the world. Hold it! Somebody, please look at me. I'm a cat. Huh? Oh, a kitten. Shoo, you might get hurt. Well, by the way, there is epic foreshadowing to this. With the cat? Yeah. Yes. There is. No, because there was the cat that was right behind Sissel's body. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody, please reach a hand out to me. I had only just died at the time. I'd lost everything. My life, my memory. My body wouldn't move anymore, but I still managed to reach out a hand to him. Next thing I knew, my soul had transferred to the black kitten. With no recollection of who I was, I lived as a cat with you for a while. This also explains why Missile has longer range than us, because we're smaller than he is. After well, I guess so, yeah. After a while, the man regained his memory. I went back to just being a cat. And then the man got his body back. This is like... There's an anime I watched that actually is a lot like this. With really? the cat. I took my body back from the morgue. There was somebody I just had to go see. Just one more time. I took control of my body and hurried to her house. I was just a little too late. I had just missed her as she left this world. She left me a note that said, I'm coming to you, Yamil. That's a cool shot. <laughs> Cute cat. The man named me Sissel. It was the name of something important he had lost, along with his life. His fiance. He told me about it once, but I didn't understand what it was. Those ten years were very happy for me, but they weren't happy for the man, and there was nothing I could do for him. For ten years I wandered through the darkness, with no particular place to go. As time passed, my po powers gradually changed. First I could only manipulate small creatures and objects, but then after a while, I could manipulate... I could manipulate people. That's when the darkness inside me deepened, and I started to get a little twisted. I wanted light. Distorted, artificial light. When I got my revenge on Lin, 
I would see that light. Or at least that's what I tried to believe. The cat must have been in the bag. Cat comes out of the bag! I left my old self buried in that junkyard and walked away. I had nearly forgotten about the cat. Yeah, we saw him in the first episode and you're like, he's so cute! I hope he comes back. Yeah, yeah. And like nothing more of it. But... The black cat. I was possessing Cecil then. It wouldn't look very much like a murder if the corpse got up and walked away after all. So you borrowed the body of your old friend. Meow, 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 meow. Cecil was inside that bag I was carrying tonight. I had no intention of leaving my friend behind in this country when I left. But then, when I went to possess his body, I realized something horrible. What was that? Cecil, there inside the bag, was dead. What? The cat was? Oh, because their first shot hit the cat. Must have been. Epic foreshadowing. I wasn't able to control her completely. Yeah. That first bullet didn't hit anything. Or so I thought. But it did hit something, didn't it? It hit Sissel inside that bag. Yeah, look at how... That's Yamiel's range, at least. He can go from there to there. Mm -hmm. And Missile can go, not go that far, but he can still go pretty far. And then we, as a cat, we're smaller. We can't yeah. go very far at all. Yeah. Yes, that's when I lost my life. Right there in the presence of Temsic radiation. The way everything fits together is so amazing! Yeah, it's unbelievable. And that's when I got my powers of the dead. My ghost tricks. Wait, how did he die to radiation? He didn't. He died next to it. That's all oh, he needs. Oh, okay. I think I understand it now. Why I was the only one who couldn't get his memory back. It was because I thought that corpse was me. It was the only corpse I could see at that time, after all. But as it turns out, it wasn't the only dead body. It was weird because the cat got up, which made me think it couldn't be him. Right, but he was being possessed, possessed. by the manipulator. My oh true jet death was hiding just behind that corpse. Oh, it's so, this is a brilliant mm -hmm. game. In it terms is of story. Well made, yeah. Now that I think about it, do you remember what you said? That you knew all along about me saving Lynn tonight? If you knew, why didn't you try to stop me? It's simple. Because I couldn't, even if I wanted to. Huh? Why not? Remember that thing about individual differences in the powers we get? I can control all kinds of things, from the living to the dead. But even so, there are some things that you can do that I can't. You mean... I can't even rewind time, let alone change the fate of a death. If I could do those things, I would have saved your life. Not only that, but I never would have just let my fiancé stay dead like that. But, but you're here ten years in the past now! That's thanks to your powers. I just tagged along with you. So how about rescuing, uh, the two? The two what? The two gals in the submarine. Well, by, by altering the fate, they will be saved. It'll completely change we the future. We all live in, in a, a sunken sub submarine. <laughs> In any case, now the starting point of this entire tragedy has changed dramatically, altering fate. Altering, like, everyone's fate? That's more the thing that I was worried about, was like, what will happen? Well, we'll see in the credits, won't we? I guess. The fate of your death, the kitten Sissel's fate, and I can just bet you the fate of the women you love changed- The woman you love changed- The women! <laughs> all I, of the I women. had a lot of women! All of the women! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I believe you're right. So... This was the last fate to be averted, eh? FATE AVERTED! Okay. I'm just curious to see how things change, I guess. So Yomiel, or Yamiel, I don't know how you pronounce it actually, I think it's Yomiel. Yeah. It looks like your plan for revenge ended in failure. Yes, and I'm glad too. Oh, same people. Yeah. She understood. She shed tears for me. That's when my revenge was over. 
she saved me from the darkness. I wonder though, will they remember that alternate future? Because we'll get into that. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess it's time to go. <laughs> I guess it's time we got back. A new ten years later was just born. Right. We should get back to our new present. I can't wait to see Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla again. So these past ten years will now all vanish. Well, not completely. The memories of all of us here will remain, including the memory of what I did, my crime. That's the way this Game of the Dead works, eh? And no matter what the reason, there's no denying the fact that I took Lynn hostage and tried to point a gun at her. I have no intention of running away from that, Ivor. The most inexcusable crime in my new life. Hey, Sissel? Yes? When we go back, our fates will no longer be interconnected. It will be like we never met. So before that happens, I just wanted to say one thing. Tonight, I stole away your life with my own hands. I'm truly sorry. Yeah, okay. That's already a thing of the lost past. Our fates have changed now, right, Yamiel? Thank you, Sizzle. I'm so very glad I met you. Me too, Yamiel. Sizzle? Are we ever going to see each other again? I couldn't stand it if we weren't! Don't worry, Missile. I bet we'll see each other again someday. Ten years from now, our paths are sure to cross. We'll just have to wait until then. Sissel, I'll... I'll never forget you! I'll never forget you, Ivor, valiant little doggy. Well, it looks like it's time for you to come live with me now. So let's be getting home, little black cat. Home, huh? That sounds good, Detective Jowd. But I want to see how Inspector Cabanella turns out. We will. <laughs> We all witnessed the birth of a new beginning, and now, we're each going back to our own new present. Okay. Curious how that's gonna work. We said goodbye to the parts of our stories that would be lost, believing that someday our paths would all cross again. The park guy's gonna be no different. He's still just gonna be like, save the park, the rock of the gods! <laughs> WAIT! What? Before you go back to a new present, I wanted to thank you. Yeah, what's up, homie? Before I cease to exist. Oh, it's you! Yes, it is I, Ray, in case you have forgotten again. Why are you in time?! Thanks to you, everything has turned out as I had hoped. I'm I old, Sissel. I am really <laughs> grateful to you, Sissel. Thank you. But don't forget, I was only on a journey to find my own lost memory. Yes, yes, I know that. I know all about you. Can I ask you a question, Ray? I want to know, who exactly are you? I'm old Jowd. <laughs> Fair enough. I will tell you. Let me tell you about another version of tonight's events. I'm another parallel universe from everybody. You changed the fate of many people tonight. The first of which was hers. Sup, homie? <laughs> One of my favorite parts of the game. That's Drop, dropping the, uh, a wrecking yeah. ball on the guy's head. Splat. Yeah. Splish, splish, kaboom. Oh, your favorite music. Yeah, some of my favorite, yeah. If you had not been there for her tonight, her fate would have been to die in that lonely spot on the outskirts of town. If that had occurred, what do you suppose would have happened? Let me tell you a story. The story of a little creature. This is where it gets even more brilliant. The story of how Missile saved everyone in a different universe. <laughs> After they stole her life that night, they broke into her apartment. They stole the wooden box from the ceiling hiding place and left. And in the process... Murdered both of them. Two little dead bodies were left behind. However... The little fellow's spirit lived on. He desperately reached out his paw towards his mistress. And that's when a miracle occurred. 
What? Look at that! The powers of the dead? But how? He didn't really understand it himself. Not yet, anyway. But with all you know now, I bet you understand it, do you not? Hey, wait a minute. That's right. He died inside the aura of that strange energy. But unfortunately, with his meager powers, he was unable to save his little mistress. There just wasn't anything he could do with only the power to swap objects. He needed the power to manipulate objects in order to save the little lady. The little fellow chased after the men, but there still wasn't anything he could do. Then when they died... And in the end, he was left behind with the man in red in the deep, deep sea. And then... He took control of the robot! He went back. He went back to the world of ten years before, to the moment of the man in red's death. What?! So in other words, yeah, like a million parallel universes. This is confusing. Only two. And then there's the, gonna be the new one. That yeah. hasn't happened yet. Yeah. He decided to wait it out. He decided to wait until that night came again. To try and tell people about it. And that's the other version of the story of this night. A story that has taken these ten years to be retold. So that was you, huh? Yep. He's old, Missile! <laughs> He's so cute! Oh my gosh! That's right. I'm Missile. Wait, that better not have turned anything off! <laughs> Check the audio. It's still going. Oh, okay, good. I just want to make sure if this yep. stopped recording here, that would be terrible. I'm Missile. Ten years is a very long time in dog years. You couldn't change the fates of these people on your own, so you decided to wait those ten years out. And teach you how to do it. Exactly. And then at last, that fateful night rolled around again. By this time I had grown old, and my powers were weak. So I decided I needed to find somebody to help me this time around. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Even the tutorial has a purpose in the oh, game. Oh, I knew the, the tutorial- I knew it would have a purpose. Because I was like, who's this weirdo? Who's the Pixar I thought. <laughs> I thought it could be- I thought it could be Sissel. Like, from whoever, whoever Sissel was from the future going back to tell him. And Close, I kind of had quite. the right idea with mm -hmm. that, but the wrong person. Because, of course, yeah. I didn't know who Sissel was. Somebody who possessed different powers than me. But wait a second! You were able to manipulate that desk lamp! Over the course of the long years, my powers changed. My ability to swap objects weakened. But I became able to manipulate small objects. But, but in that case, why didn't you cooperate with yourself? Because I couldn't. Huh? From watching the man in red, I found out there were individual differences in our powers. I couldn't do any of the things he could do. Like travel through the phone lines, for example. What? It may not seem like much, but it's a very important power. Especially if you're trying to chase somebody. But there's something I don't understand. You knew from the very beginning that I had that power. How did you know so much about me? Why wouldn't I? After all, we had met before on that night the first time around. Wait, we what? We met before? Rough, rough. From listening to the conversation of the two intruders to the apartment, I learned that Miss Lynn had lost her life at the junkyard on the edge of town. I followed the ghost world paths to the junkyard and I came across upon an incredible scene. Imagine, if you will, there in the darkness, a twisting and swiveling desk lamp. It made my fur stand on end, I can tell you. Th that was me? So I was shot on that night the first time around as well. You had lost your memory that time too. You had just died and you felt confused. You declined to cooperate with me. I did what?! I just want to find that my own lost memory. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. That's what you said. And 
then you disappeared. Away over the telephone line. I'm really sorry I didn't help you. That's why I decided that this time, I would use that desire of yours to our mutual advantage. Mutual advantage? The only thing you were interested in was finding your own lost memory. If I could guide you along the right path to doing that, we would both benefit. <laughs> He's such a cat! He's like, I don't care about you, I'm doing my own thing, yeah. <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah. And namely, the right path would be the path to the man in red, to Yamiel. What? I gave you the information you needed to know to set you in the right direction. And then I gave you a time limit. A time limit? That's right. As you know, I said you only had until tomorrow morning. If I didn't, hadn't done that, you would have found out the truth tonight. You would not have found out the truth tonight. So yeah, we didn't have that time limit. And the man in red would have been sealed away at the bottom of the sea forever. If that had happened, it would have been all over. Th then you mean that thing about ceasing to exist? Oh, that? Completely. <laughs> <laughs> A little naughty of me, I know. I I wondered after I saw all these things with like, oh, this is still alive after ten years. I'm like, maybe this lamp was just like the worst thing ever. It was like, oh, you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted you to use your time wisely. Oh boy, I hate to admit it, but this little doggy really outsmarted me in every way. Let's just call it the wisdom that comes with age. If you were killed in the Avatar state, then the Avatar ceases to exist. And now it's time to say farewell. These past ten years will cease to exist, and with them, so will I. Nessal. I believed in you. I always knew you could do it. And so you did! Thank you! Thank you from the bottom of my heart! Nessal. So you waited and waited these ten long years. All for the sake of your two ladies, Lynn and Camilla, eh? Of course! Because that's what doggies do! Now then, farewell, Sissel. Yeah, I will say, as much as I, like, like how dogs... I like the appearance of dogs. I don't like dogs a ton, but I like oh, how... Oh, and so the story of a single guy keep doing it. Oh, come on! Sorry! <laughs> I'm moving back. back. Back to a new present. Doggone it! Why did it have to auto-text now? I understand why it did that at the beginning of the game, to match up with the music, but... Yeah, sorry. It's fine. Everybody knows what's happening. Pause the video if you want and go back and read it yourself. Yep. Alright. The new timeline. Everything's hearts and rainbows... How come it's dark? I don't, I don't know who's talking. I'll just turn on the lights here. Surprise! Happy birthday! Oh. Ah! Okay, please don't dial in. <laughs> Lynn here just dies we go again. Oh, that's really cute. They were hiding in the cupboard together. <laughs> were you surprised? You bet I was! You nearly scared me to death! Yippee! It worked! But it's not even my birthday today. It was my mom's birthday the day before yesterday. I made this surprise for her, but it came out so well I wanted to use it again! That's alright, Lynn. After all, we're celebrating the birth of your new position as detective, right? Really? Thank you, Detective Jout. Dad, you're home! Hi, Camilla. Let me introduce you. This is Lynn. She was just assigned to the detective division Wait, is today. This, is this gonna be, like, the most, like, happy, like, Back to the Future, where it's like, this is timeline's almost too happy, <laughs> like, with how everything worked out? <laughs> It's, I don't know. it's fine. Hey, Camilla, it's nice to meet you. They deserve it. Nice to meet you too, Lynn. Congrats on being a detective. Huh? Is something wrong? You have one of those badges too. Oh, this? Yeah. I have one just like it. My dad just gave it to me the other day. But yours looks a lot older than mine, though. Haha! <laughs> How long are you gonna keep wearing that toy badge, Lynn? What's wrong with it? To me, this is a symbol of a real detective! It's been ten years since then, hasn't it? Who would have guessed you'd actually become a detective one day? I did! When you gave me this badge, I just knew. I knew it was destiny somehow! Destiny, eh? And now that I'm a detective, 
I'll find out where that destiny will leave me. Yeah, so just so people didn't get it, the only people who remembered the timeline we played the game through are Sissel, Missile, Yamiel, and Jowd. Yeah. Nobody else remembers anything about it. Yeah, I figured. Haha, <laughs> that you will, that you will. Also, kind of surprised that he's not crippled now because he got his a meteorite fragment shot through his leg. Maybe he has a robotic leg. Maybe. <laughs> oh, hello. Don't tell me you're that same little kitten. That's right, the very one. You know what? This is a very, very special cat. He's 10 years old, but he's still a kitten. Still a kitten? Yep, he never got any bigger or anything. Wow, what a mysterious little fellow. I know, right? His name's Sissel. Sissel? Jowd must have named him. <laughs> hmm. It seems to me I've heard that name somewhere before. I think Sissel likes you, Lynn. Oh yeah, the mom. All right, everyone, let's start the celebration. Okay, mom. I don't- I think that was her voice? I don't know. I- I- uh, it doesn't matter. Everybody eat chicken. Take the Aww. cat. Aww. I wish I had a cat that liked that. <laughs> we have a cat that We have a cat that kind of tolerates it for like 10 seconds maybe, and then yeah. it's like- Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> At least for you. But you pick him up weirdly. You have to pick him up and put him like half on the shoulder like- I do that and then he claws the crud out of my shoulder. Yeah, you have to put up with that, but it's fine. <laughs> no, but Artie will just pick him up like when you're lugging like a dead person. No, I pick him up like he's an infant. No, you pick up an infant, like, where you put it over the shoulder. No, you if you're burping it. You, you can, pick you can pick up, a, you can okay. cradle the infant okay. like that. Otherwise, you pick him up, like, when somebody's drowning in the sea, and you're like, I'll save you. <laughs> I like, can't <laughs> imagine why he wouldn't like that. <laughs> I bet you're just like me. Your destiny led you here somehow, too. <laughs> I like the idea that it's a cat. I know. That makes me the so two main happy. characters are a cat and a dog. Yeah. It's amazing. And so we meet again, Sissel. From just that single night as a human, I got a glimpse into their world, and I learned something. Their fates, their lives, they were all interconnected. Somewhere, somehow, in some way. I want to see how the neighbor next door And now, works. this is my new fate. The fate averted. <laughs> Still have all the power in the world. Because he got struck by the meteorite. It, yeah. it cut through Jowd's leg and then he, it hit Sissel. Yeah. I guess I really am a cat. It suits me just fine to curl up and watch. Watch the strange and beautiful patterns of their lives as they unfold. And it looks like I'll have plenty to watch here for quite a while. Someone's not eating. Oh, that's it? I wanted to see more about There's the There's more during the credits. Okay, good. Also, an epic more. music cue when the credits start. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I'm here for the party! Also, watch Sissel during these- or Missile during these scenes. What? <laughs> Happy birthday to our lovely Lynn! Uh, like I said, it isn't my birthday. Hey, Missile, I thought I asked you to stay home and guard the fort. My birthdays are for celebrating together with friends and loved ones. Nothing like it, baby. He's so happy to see Camilla again. Oh it's so cute. Also, Sissel's just like, it totally like a cat. Yeah. <laughs> I like spaghetti, <laughs> baby. Nothing like it. Yeah. Aw. That's awesome. This is a fantastic game. I yeah. seriously... Such a shame that, like, nobody knows about it. Although my friend knew about it. I was, yeah, I was, that was talking cool. to him about it today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Phoenix Rollins. <laughs> he learned the steps! There! How do you like that? Not bad, huh? But definitely not good. Maybe now I can be a great detective, just like Inspector Cabanella. What kind of example is the Inspector providing for his men? Meanwhile, the other guy didn't need to talk. Princess Stop. Princess. I'm going. Wait, was that the guy who was like, Oh, I'll order you chicken or something? I'm the average British guy. One of them. <laughs> it's the chief. <laughs> Here's your food, gentlemen. Chicken kitchen, so fancy. Memory, what are you doing here? I heard you were going to be picking up some new members for the special investigation unit today. So you're going to put ten jab here again, just so you can eavesdrop? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you have no idea the lengths I go to reach my goals. Huh. Is he smoking while oh, eating no. chicken? Oh, <laughs> no. Bartender didn't say anything. Bartender <laughs> isn't supposed to say anything. Oh, man. La 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 la! I've never cooked this way before! So exotic, so exciting! A turmeric, coriander, cuban, and fenugreek catch curry chicken so paradise! You never to la, save la, la. Him. Is this really necessary, this new curry chicken menu item? Oh, but our very best customer requested it! Now good luck with the taste testing! Yeah, we didn't have to save either of their lives. No, we had to save her life. No, she didn't die. Yeah, she did. No, she didn't. Oh boy, I don't look like. I don't think I could take another bite. Just who exactly is this very best customer anyway? She died, remember? She was also- Or no, she- She didn't die. She just passed out. Oh, it's that guy. It's the curry guy, yeah. Okay, you don't ever see his portrait. Or no, you do. For the, that one part where it's- Oh, you should be booty! I did the really racist uh, accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know which ethnic group to apologize Ooh, for, la, though. La. <laughs> Je suis Jean Armstrong! It sounds like the guy from Frozen. Welcome to the... Like, hop. Are you sure we really need all these explosives? Not to worry, beauty, my dear. I followed the instructions exactly. 20 kilograms of gunpowder, just like it said. Wait a minute. 20 kilograms? I thought it was 20 grams. <laughs> They'll die. <laughs> They were trying to rob the chicken kitchen? Obviously. Man, they are making bank. He's like, I don't really care, I just want to get my- That's not- I've changed his accent to like three different racist accents. I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's fine. I just want my curry. <laughs> there, that's better. He's a chain smoker. He's a female we already chain have, smoker. We already have a chain smoker. So this is where you work, huh, Papa? That's right, sweetheart. Darling husband, don't have any ideas at all that you could give me. You must have heard some juicy stories, the discretions of a minister, perhaps. Indiscretions. Now, now, must you talk that way in front of our darling angel? Here's to the stodgy mind of my darling husband. Aw, that's cute. <laughs> he just popped it on his nose! That's so cute. <laughs> at least she didn't get a fever. Yeah, okay, when you watch... Because I, I, I assume you're, you're probably, probably gonna watch probably. these when they go up in like two years. No, yeah. You're gonna see epic amounts of foreshadowing that Sissel's a cat. Oh, I'm sure. Like, I, I it's, it's crazy how yeah. many of them there is. How much is. This deal is going quite well. Oh, I must say, these grapes are quite good, my man. Do you know us about to scrape the bottom of the sea, sir? Be forewarned, sir. The gad! Keep it together, man! Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? I nearly just died of fright just now! Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're still alive, but... Whatever. Whatever. They are the doing blue man deals. group. Mm -hmm. Commander Sith. And command... Uh, and assistant. the masked muscle man is, I the think, is it, the name that... I just realized we never looked at all the profiles. No, we, we didn't. Love, peace, and pigeons! Live, love, all live, rock, and roll! Yeah! <laughs> the pigeons, the pigeons are rocking with him. That's awesome. Stop the park from charging admission! Protect the rights of those who live here! <laughs> yup. <laughs> you were right, the park guardian is exactly the same, basically. basically. Just protesting a different thing about the park. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way they're gonna change anything about him. <laughs> He's like a businessman. <laughs> oh, yay! We haven't seen anything from them in forever. Today's the day, you know. He's finally getting out. You know, everybody's starting to get real tired of seeing you do that. Then let me show you a new dance that's been passed out in our family for generations. We do this when we have a stomach ache. We call it Dance Away the Pain. Oh, I'm real interested in that one. I think you could show me it to in, say, a week. You got it! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hey, baby. 
Thank you, localization people. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. This game... Thank you, one person who translated this, the entire thing? This game is easily one of my... Uh, top two games' best story. I really, really like... Really? In terms of video games. Okay, okay. Because this... Would you agree you can't tell this story outside of a video game? It's really hard to. It'd be insanely hard to. It'd be hard to do as a movie. It would, maybe as a book. Maybe as a book it could make sense. It would be pretty hard, though, honestly. But the, the way everything goes together, it never really feels slow, honestly. Not really, although... The, like, the every character chapters, is important, basically. Yeah. Like, just the story is so well crafted. They decided all this ahead of time before starting oh, sure. the programming. And just the way it all pieces together and there's still foreshadowing and nothing really is like, that's a cop-out. It's so well done. That's nice. What, uh, what are your thoughts? Uh... Uh, uh, we'll get to that back yeah, to the main yeah, menu yeah. because we're I think we're about to get the last like where they are scene. Sissels in prison. Yamiel. Uh, the guy who was what's called Sissels in prison. Ten long years, Yamiel. Your time's up today. The young lady who always comes to visit you is waiting outside. What? Does she love him? His fiance. Oh, she's alive? Yeah, she committed suicide because she thought he was dead. Oh. Thank you, Sissel. He's thanking the cat and his fiance. Right. He's kind of like Yanni Yogi from Ace Attorney One. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. I could see how it's the same group though that makes Ace Attorney games. Yep. Because everything yep. flows and it has that same kind of feeling. That's the yeah. thing he was painting in prison. Aw. That's such a beautiful shot of Sissel meowing towards the moon. And he, also, if I ever get a male black cat in the future, I'm probably naming it Sissel. That'd be cool. <gasps> oh, they're so cute! Look at them all together. Aww. So happy. Missile's adorable. Missile's adorable. The mom did not make it into the painting, apparently. The mom took the picture. Aww. And nobody really cared about the mom, let's be fair. Oh, that's so <laughs> sad! The mom was a he pretty important child important in Camilla's part. well being. Agreed. Agreed. Also, I love how Missile and Sissel are, like, best friends now. Yeah, I think that's cool. So cute. they're a cat and a dog. Ha! Ah. So Just good! I love that game so much. You're saving. Save complete. Returning Th to the like, title. They're like, New Game Plus? <laughs> There's no New Game Plus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, now that we're back to main menu, final thoughts on the game. What were, what were your impressions? It's very complex. Which, I mean, I guess I knew that going in a little bit. But, yeah, my brain is, like, full of everything. <laughs> um, yeah. I really like how he turns out as a cat. I think that's okay. brilliant. I was wondering if you'd be, that's so stupid. No, <laughs> I like that only because I know that the cat isn't aging. Mm. Which sounds dumb. But to me, in my brain, I'm like, animals don't live as long, may not have as happy of a life. But because he's got the fragment thing... He's, like, living a while, so he'll be able to he's, see He's living, the... basically, forever. Yeah, but literally... Okay. <laughs> if you watch Clannad or Clannad, maybe don't listen to this. There is this anime I've watched where, in the past, there is this person who wants to be with another girl, and he ends up, like, in order to keep living through his life, he lives through the life as her cat... And, like, the cat is... There's, like, so many foreshadowing things that shows that he's a cat. Interesting. And it's super weird uh, where I was like, oh, it's, like, so similar to that. And then you see the cat in, like, the show all the time. Okay. It's just kind of, like, a funny extra thing. But it was super interesting to me to watch. And now I'm like, oh, it's kind of, like, similar. But not, like, exactly the same. It's kind of mm -hmm. cool. I, I was surprised how much the missile was in it. Yeah. To be sure. That's That catches everybody off guard, because, like, Missile's in Chapter 2, a little bit of Chapter 3, and then he just, like, he's Vanishes not there. for, like, And then 10. the fact that he's the other person with Ghost Tricks is just fantastic. Yeah, I, I think that's so cool. Much. I think it's, like, I was expecting more to go down with the bad guys. Like, yeah. Like, I was expecting more of, like, a backstory as to why they want the deal, or maybe, they're, like... They're a foreign government that can get the power to manipulate things as ghosts and live forever. Why wouldn't they want it? Sure. They, they, they don't sure. really need a whole lot of motivation. And that's fine. I just thought there'd be more like, oh, this is the bad guy. Or like, oh, like this is like more to do with the other people. Mm -hmm. Where, and also I thought there'd be way more with the extra detectives. 
like an Bailey? No. Or like Phoenix Wrong. Like Phoenix Wrong. And, and McCraw. And McCraw. Or M- McGraw. Yeah. Well, there, there, there are a few minor characters, but most of the characters are, are at least important to yeah, the plot in some way, really which are, is really yeah. cool. For me, I, I was kind of surprised that, like, the Sissel t- became a cat thing and totally caught you off guard when it was revealed. Because, for me, I had seen the cat around a couple times, but as soon as I saw the cat in the, like, ten minutes before, four minutes before death for the last thing, I'm like, that's gotta be Sissel. Like, why else would the cat be there in the past? Sure, sure. To me, it was more, the only reason I dismissed it initially, because I saw the cat, like, oh, like, well, my body fell because of that cat. I'm like, maybe that's really important, but... I don't see how because the cat's moving and yeah, looks and like alive. he's living, which is why I kind of excused that. Yeah, as an the idea. cat even meowed when the Lin, cat when Lin meowed. found it in chapter one. It was like meow and then walked yeah. off. Yeah, I thought that's why I like kind of excused it. But when I kept seeing it a couple more times, I thought maybe, but I don't know how that would work. And the main issue was I couldn't tell what to do about the you cease to exist mm-hmm. and how the manipulator could get around that. Right. Once those two things got solved, I'm like, okay, this is all... Yeah, it all fits together brilliantly, and that's why it's one of my favorite video game stories. I'm not sure if this beats out one of the Ace Attorney games. In terms of, like, story? In terms of story. It's so close. Is They're it one neck that we've played? Nope. It's the third one? Or no, it's, it the, is, it's an investigation? It's the second Edgeworth game. Okay. Which, if we if we end up doing all those, that will probably be our last Ace Attorney Let's Play. Because the others are all on the 3DS and I can't record those. Yep. Prob- well, we should get a capture card at some point. I, I'm not taking apart my 3DS to install that. If they release those on, An like, emulator. Switch or something, or if or a 3DS emulation becomes, like, something feasible, I, I would be willing to do that. Not sure how that would work with DLC cases, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways... That was Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Did you enjoy actually controlling the stuff? Yes. I think that also kind of helped me remember things, which sounds weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But when I actually get to play a game, it's so much different than watching someone play a game, which, as someone who has brothers, that's something I do a lot. I'll, like, watch (laughs) them play games instead of me doing them. Like, that's how it is with Majora's Mask. Yeah. I've never played the game before, but I love it because I love the story and I love how unique it is. Like, Majora's Mask is another great video game story. That's really cool. Not to the same level as these two. These, this yeah, one, Yeah, no. it's just different. And this is also a game where I'm like, if they made a sequel, cool. I don't think I want a sequel, though. Oh, it, there's so, there are so many games and movies that don't need sequels that right. get sequels. I'm like, I don't want this. For me... I'd be okay with a sequel if it was completely new characters. Completely new None characters. Of, no new, Maybe no even returning a new characters. Universe. I, yeah, I'd be okay with that. Anyhow, I really hope you guys enjoyed the Let's Play. I know I enjoyed it a whole lot. I and enjoyed it too. Tune in next time. Our next co-op Let's Play, I think, is going to be Apollo Justice. Okay. I'm not sure that's going to work with you working and, <laughs> and going to college. college. But you know what? When we rec- <laughs> if we record a million of these, though, like. <laughs> By the way, just so people know, as of this recording, as of the end of this Let's Play, I have not even started uploading Justice for All videos. Yet. Yeah, and I'm, I just turned 18. So. You're gonna be like 23 when this gets up. Oh, absolutely! <laughs> like, I'm sure, like, later me is gonna be like, man, you haven't even gone to college yet. You're gonna see some things. Or, like, Anyhow, whatever. look forward to our next Let's Play, or just my next Let's Play in general. And until we meet again, yeah. my friends, have a great day, and may God bless you wherever you are.